Shalom. Shalom. Uh, we're the real Hebrew Israelites. Come to you week in week out to prophesy the truth, the yeah. truth and sincerity. All right, so first I'd like to start by giving all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, double honor to the apostles of Great Millstone, and salutation to all your brothers around the four corners of the earth, pushing his word and truth and his sincerity. So well, let me just go hop into this lesson uh, about um, Yahweh Shai only being for Israel. So let me start with this lesson. Um, this is Matthew 1 and 21. And she shall bring forth a son, and thou shalt call his name Yahweh Shai. Mm -hmm. says, For he shall save his people from their sins. So yeah, it's plain. Yahweh Shai shall save his people for their sins. You know, and who's his people? Uh, give me Luke 1 and um, 68. Luke 1 and um, 68. Blessed be the Lord, Yahweh of Israel. Of Israel. Blessed be Yahweh, the Lord of Israel. So you give me uh, Psalms 147.19. Just back up. What? For he hath visited and redeemed his people. He hath visited and, had, and redeemed his people. Back to what the brother first read, Matthew 1 and 21. Yahweh Shai, uh, who he should save his people man, for, from his sins. And what sin? Transgression of the law, you know. Matter of fact, let me get that. You know, while brother gets that Psalms, I'm gonna read it real quick here in First John. It says, um, this First John, uh, <clears throat> maybe Second John. Oh, that's First John actually. First John three and four it says, "Whosoever committed sin transgresseth also the law, for sin is transgression of the law." Now we're gonna read who the laws, statutes, and commandments were given to. Okay, go ahead. This is Psalms 147 and 19. It says, He showed up his word unto Jacob, his statutes and his judgments unto Israel. Verse 20, he hath not dwelt so with any nation. He had not dwelt so with any nation. You know, he holds um the Deuteronomy 4 and 6, Bible Shah. Deuteronomy 4 and 6. Okay. It says, uh, Psalms 147 and 19, he showed up his word unto Jacob. And his statutes and his judgments unto Israel, he have not dwelt dealt so with any nation, and as far as his judgments, they have not known them. Praise ye the Lord. That's right, they have not known them. Praise ye the Lord. And then specifically Esau, the so called white man. The scripture says, uh, uh, the, the, the Yahweh is not in none of their thoughts, man. You know why? Because they, they're, uh, they, they transgress the wine and they're proud, you know? Well, you know. Going back to the point how Shaul died for Israel, you know, you can read that book so uh break down um you know that the Lord only dealt with with uh you know his people, you know, which is Israel. Deuteronomy four and six, keep therefore and do them, for this is your wisdom and under and your understanding in the can you, sight. Can you, can you read a, the a verse uh, above Bob Let me get on uh, verse four. That's, Oh uh, yeah, let me see what it says. Uh, uh, five. Five? Yeah. Behold, this is Deuteronomy 4 and 5. Behold, I have taught you the statutes and judgments, mm -hmm. even as the Lord my God commanded me, mm -hmm. that ye should do so in the land, whether ye go to possess it. Mm -hmm. Keep therefore and do them, for this is your wisdom and your understanding in the sight of all the nations. All right, this is the, our wisdom inside of all the nations. So the Lord only gave uh, these laws, statutes, and commandments unto uh, Israel. You know, he did not. He hasn't dealt so with the, uh, the other nations, man. The rest of the heathen nations, man. You know, and now we're gonna go into the Yahweh only went into uh, died for the for the sins of Israel, and uh, first and foremost for the elect. You know, and uh, and we'll prove that he didn't die for the. We're gonna prove that the Gentiles are. Um, you know, through the spirit of Hapa Shem and of course, that the Gentiles were the Israelite foreigners that were scattered abroad through um through um slavery, you know, and through captivity. Uh, that's it on that. No, there's still some more. I'll oh, go ahead. Which shall hear all these statutes and say, Surely this great nation is a wise and understanding people. All right. You know, th that's what the nation uh supposed to be looking at us. But now that we're under uh you know, we went under captivity, man, you know, Esau uh now Esau and all the nations, they're they're they're, they're, they're 
the day the day desire was when we fell, man. You know, but at, at one point, you know, the the other nations looked at us with admiration, as what is you know the scripture says, ain't is this the wise people, man? You know, but you got some cop. This is Acts five and thirty. It says, um, so I can Acts five and and so Acts five and thirty. It says, the God of our fathers raised up Yahweh. Our fathers. You know, well, that's possessive. Go ahead. It says, whom ye slew and hang on a tree. Him have God exalted to his right hand to be a prince and a savior, but to give repentance to Israel and forgiveness of sins. Right, to Israel. Forgiveness of sin, right? Again, possessive, man. You know, just like Yahweh Shai said, and just how uh, Matthew 1 21 said, Yahweh Shai died for the sins of his people. You know, I got the precept. Go ahead. This is uh, cause it says his people. This is Hebrews fourteen, it's like Hebrews twelve and fourteen. For it is evident that our Lord is sprang out of the tribe of Judah, of which tribe Moses spake nothing concerning the priesthood. So that's his people. You know, he sprang out the tribe of Judah, which is part of the twelve tribes of Israel, which right. is the only who he's dealing with and who he came for, his people. All right. No, now um, you get that precept, brother. Matthew uh, yeah. 4. You got all This is Romans, you know, just going to back up the brother. Uh, that with that, with that Psalms 147 and 19, he only gave his laws and statutes to Jacob, you know. This is. Uh, you got 9, Romans 9? Yeah. All right, well, that's perfect. Go ahead. This is Romans 9, and um, starting at verse 1. I say the truth in you, and. Christ was this Mashiach anointed. I lie not. My conscience also bear me witness in the Holy Ghost that I have great sorrow and heaviness and continue and continual sorrow in my heart, for I could wish that myself were cursed from Yahushai, but my brother and my kinsman. My brother and my kinsman. And this is Paul speaking. Uh Romans eleven uh, ten and one says, um uh, I, I am I am also an Israelite of the seed of Benjamin. So uh, Paul was an Israelite, you know. So has the how Shai has the how Bashmir Shai cast his people? God forbid, you know, because those Gentiles were those that uh, you know, lost their heritage. You know, you read um, uh, Isaiah uh, Jeremiah seventeen and four says that we should lose our heritage. Now that that scripture was really fulfilled completely when we, when we came this side of the world. After uh, the Roman Empire, but really, you know, a lot of Jakes that were ha that were uh, under captivity at the time of Yahweh Shai didn't know that they were Israelites, man. That's why Paul had was sent to the Gentiles, which those Israelites that lost their customs through kept through the Greeks, who started Hellenizing, um, you know, following after um, the Greek philosophies and lifestyles. That that's what happened to Jake. You know, a perfect example is um, I believe it's Tiberius uh, Julius Alexander. You know, the one who uh, really uh, destroyed uh, Jerusalem in mm -hmm. 70 AD. He was a Jew. But he, uh, you go into the history of that man, you know, he, he uh, the Romans, uh, they knew that they were Israelite. He was an Israelite Jew, but he had forsaken the laws of uh, of his, of his uh, heritage, man, which is Israel. You know, so, that's, you know, that's why you got the, you know, when you go into the, to the words like the Grecians, uh, like in the book of Acts, you know, they talk about the Grecians. And then you go into the word, uh, you know, you know, um, it means Hellenistas, which, uh, matter of fact, we're going to get that. You know, I don't go off topic. Go ahead. It says, it says, um, for I can wish that myself were cursed in Yahweh Shai, for my brother and my kinsmen according to the flesh. According to the flesh, man. You know? And then, uh, those that are, um, uh, the scripture says, "Them that are of uh, the seed of the Most High are of the seed of Abraham, or the seed of faith are the seed of Abraham." And that's the, the word "seed" goes back to the, uh, the Latin "sperma," which means sperm. So yeah, yeah, you have to be of the bloodline of an actual man of Israelite who put seed unto a woman. You know, you go to the Book of uh, uh, Numbers one and eighteen, it tells you that the, your heritage goes back by your father's side, not your mother's side, man. You know, and that's a cut in them uh, fake Jews who. Uh, who uh, they declare their pedigrees by their moms, not by their fathers, you know? But why do you go, go ahead and back to that? I'm going to just get that precept that you quoted. Uh, this is uh, Galatians 3 and 7. It says, Know ye therefore 
that they which are of faith, the same are the children of Abraham. God, so that goes back to what brother said. Right. Um, now, I got, well, we got a quick precept. It's First Corinthians ten and one. It says, "For moreover, brethren, I will not that you should be ignorant how that all our fathers possessive were under the cloud and all passed through the sea." And we're all baptized unto Moses in the cloud and the sea. Now, this is a letter to Corinth, man. And, and uh, who was Paul sent to? The Gentiles, bro. So, th why, is, why is Paul selling, telling that our fathers to the Gentiles, man? Why? Because they were Israelites who came back to being Israel. Now, uh, you can hold on um, uh, Galatians 2 and 11. Mm -hmm. And then you can go into that. Go back into that. Uh, I mean, Ephesians. So I go back into that. Right? Romans, yeah, Babusha. It says, um, who are Israelites, to whom pertain of the adoption. Pertain the adoption. Which, what's the adoption? Uh, uh, us being placed as sons back or uh, back to the Yahweh Hashem man. No, through, through Yahweh Shai. No? Go ahead. It says, and the glory. And, and the, the glory, God. which is the kingdom. And go ahead. And the covenants. Covenants, which two covenants, which were under, uh, really were under both, but the second covenant, which is the laws that we're going to, uh, we're gonna we're gonna receive in our inward thoughts and not go off. You know that was only given unto Israel, prophesied by Jeremiah, and, and um, uh, um, uh, we we quote in Hebrews, man, only unto Israel, man. It, there's no other nations involved into this. You know what? It says, to whom pertaineth the adoption and the glory and the covenants and the giving of the law and the giving of the law, which is read sin is transgression of the law. Only Israel could sin. We knew that, we just read in Psalms 147, 19, that, that the law was only given unto Israel. All right? It what? says, who, it's like, yeah. and the service of God and mm -hmm. the promises. And the promises. Now, it says promises, right? Let me read a quick scripture here in Galatians. Uh, Galatians. Uh, here, Bobby, here's um. Galatians 3 and 16, it says, Now to Abraham and his seed, which is Abraham, uh, his seed was Isaac and Jacob, were the promises made. And he's going to break it down here. He said, Not and to seeds as in many, but as one. And to thy seed, which is Yahweh Shai. So that one seed is the seed of Israel, man. Going back to uh, Israel, Jacob, Judah, you know, all the way down to Yahweh Shai, man. That's what the promises were given to, man. You know? And then it, uh, Romans tell you, Romans 9 4 it tells you that, that the promises were given to uh, Paul's brethren who, who are Israelites, man. Alright? <clears throat> you got more on that? Oh, that was it. That was it. Dude, I had one on there. I got it. You got some? Oh, uh, we can go ahead and go. There's Ephesians 4 and 11. And he gave some apostles. And some prophets. Uh, and two and eleven. Two and eleven? Yeah. Ephesians <clears throat> two and eleven. Wherefore remember that ye being in the time past Gentiles in the flesh. In time past Gentiles in the flesh. Speaking to those Israelite foreigners. Paul saying that uh writing a letter unto these Israelite foreigners in Ephesus, right? What? Who are called on circumcision by the by that which is called the circumcision in the flesh made by hands. So right, them that knew that were uh, uh, um, circumcised, which the Jews at the time, they, they were calling uh, the uh, the Israelite foreigners uncircumcision, man. They're calling them heathens, Gentiles, you know, you know, because because the Lord, because uh, you know, the, when we go into uh, into the the Jews' custom, man, the Jew custom, if they not abide to uh, to listening. You know, after they, after they tell them, after, uh, um, in the scripture says after two or three, uh, admonitions reject, but, you know, the Jews, after, you know, my fact, I'm a, nah, I mean, I don't have to get it, but I'm just going to quote it. You know, after, you know, after they were gone to the congregation and, and, and if they did not listen and hearken to the words of the most high, they will, they will cast them out as a heathen, man. So that's what they did. Now, and then knowing that these Jews were, all these Pharisees were uh, super over righteous, man. You know they've seen the wickedness that Israel was on. You know sacrificing uh, swine in the temple, going back to uh, the Greeks, man. You know uh, living like them. They probably had bald heads, tattoos, man. No beards. 
You know, and they actually looked them looked at them as heathens, man, Gentiles, man. You know, that's why that envy. You know, matter of fact, uh, we read that that part which you were reading, Ephesians mm -hmm. two and eleven. Yeah. Ephesians two and eleven. Wherefore remember that ye be in the time past Gentiles in the flesh who are called on circumcision by the that which is called the circumcision in the flesh made by hands. And circumcision made in the flesh, go ahead. In the flesh, that go ahead. Flesh made by hands, that at that time ye were without Mashiach, being aliens from being, the com being, commonwealth. Being aliens from the commonwealth of Israel, sure. man. Means being foreigners, being strangers from from uh, the commonwealth of Israel, man, from the citizenship, man. You know, go ahead. And strangers from the covenants mm -hmm. of promise, having no hope mm -hmm. and without have, God yeah, having no world. hope and without Yahweh Hashem Yahushan in the world, man. Why? Because uh, now is perfect time to get um Matthew's five and ten, or ten and five, I should say. You know. Oh no! Oh, okay, you got it then. Come on, Matthew's. So lucky. Got a. Is that Matthew's five and ten? Ten and five. This is Matthew. You got it. All right. Uh, Why can't you hold that? And hit it. This is Matthew's ten and five. It says, "These twelve Yahweh shall send forth and commanded them, saying, Go not into the way of the Gentiles.' Not in the way of the Gentiles, right?" Now that's actually talking about the real Gentiles, man. Them heathens, them gooks, Moabites, you know, heathens, Esau, so-called white man, all the heathens outside of Israel. Those he, Yahushua is actually talking about those heathens, man. Go ahead. It says, it says, oh, it's like, and enter ye, it's like, and enter any, it's like it, and into any city of the Samaritans, enter ye not, right? But rather go. So like it, but go rather to the lost sheep of the house of Israel. Go rather to the lost sheep of the house of Israel, man. The house of the lost. Why? How are you lost, man? You lost because if someone's lost, man, they don't it means they don't they don't know their heritage. You know they don't. You know they don't. You know they're lost, man. They're blind. You know they ain't wait. The Lord hasn't quickened them. You know in order to receive this truth, Yahushua has to suffer with you and quicken you, bring back alive to understand the scriptures, man. The the Gentiles in them they weren't quickened yet, man. They were in the world, man. Thinking they were uh, Greeks, man. You know, as a matter of fact, you go to um, Acts. Oh, that yeah, you got some. Oh, yeah. oh, well, you hold that and go to Acts five and two, or yeah, Acts two and five. Acts two and five. Yeah, because basically, man, you know, Israel's been scattered abroad. You know, we don't want to go off subject, but it's the spirit, you know. Acts two and five. Yeah, about for sure. This is Acts two, starting at verse five. Mm -hmm. it says um. Because, you know, lost sheep, meaning they were scattered, man. You know, you go to uh, James 1 and 1 says, uh, greetings to the 12 tribes scattered abroad, man. You know, and we know we've been scattered through uh, the Syrian king, uh, captivity, the Babylonian captivity, and the Greek and the Roman captivity, man. We've been scattered through generation and generation, man. You know, one, it, that well, alone lets you know that that, that, that diaspora, that, that diaspora had, had an effect on us losing our heritage and customs, man. What is uh, Acts 2 and 5? It says, And there were dwelling at Jerusalem Jews, devout men, out of. Jews, devout men, like Cornelius. Out of every nation under heaven. Under every nation under heaven. Alright? So Jews, Israelites are scattered under every nation under under the earth, under the sun, man. You know? So, uh, go ahead, go back to Ephesians. Ephesians. Uh, verse 13, but now in Mashiach, Yahushai, ye who sometimes were far off, uh, sometimes were far off, are made nigh, are made nigh, made near, by the blood of Mashiach, by the blood of Yahushai Mashiach, man, you know, and uh, let me get a, a quick precept, this is um, Romans 9 and 7 says, O Yahweh, righteousness belongeth unto thee. But unto us confusion of faces, and as this day to the men of Judah and the inhabitants of Jerusalem, and unto all Israel that are near and that are far off through all countries which thou has driven them because of their trespass that they have trespassed against, man. So Paul he was basically saying the same thing, man. Them right here says um 
that are near and that are far off, man. So them, them Gentiles, them Gentiles that, that Paul was speaking to were Israelite foreigners, man. No? That's it on that? Uh, keep, keep, you know, let's see what it says. For he is our peace who have made both one and have broken down the middle wall of the partition oh, between oh, us. Middle wall partition, man. So now, you know, us, uh, the Jews, the the Jews in that middle wall that separated us from, from uh, Jews and the ones that uh, were uh, scattered and, and under uh, uh, a Gentile state of mind. You, you read, in, uh, actually, I'm going to get it quick. You read in uh, 1 Corinthians, the 10th chapter, I mean, the 12th chapter, verse 2 says, You know that ye were Gentiles, you know, were past tense, Gentiles carried away unto these dumb idols, even as you were led. You know, so we were Gentiles at one point, spiritually, uh, and mentally, we're, we're Gentiles. But now that Yahweh Shai is with us, or His blood brought us back to the to the Heavenly Father, we're now, uh, uh, we know that we're Israelites now. Doesn't uh, Jude says, uh, uh, Jude 1 and 3, I believe, says, I should bring you back to remembrance as you won't knew this. So the Lord is waking us back, man. You know, and the scripture says, uh, uh, um, this should be a great falling away first, man. And what was that great falling away? Uh, Jeremiah 17 and 4, man. Yahweh shall uh, make you lose that heritage that he gave thee and serve thy enemies, man. We're under uh, the so-called white man, serving him at this state, man. Baruch says we are yet this day in our captivity, man. So them, so, so them Gentiles that were in the, uh, the, the Paul and Yahweh Shai was speaking about was talking about them Israelite foreigners. All right? Now you got the count on the Maccabees? Count. This is Maccabees 1. Starting it on verse... Five. It's like now I'm starting verse fourteen. I'm starting verse fourteen. It says, "It's so like I'm starting verse 11. It says, "In those days, went there out of Israel wicked men, who persuaded many, saying, let us go and make a covenant with the heathen.' Make covenant with the heathen. So if them Jews want to go to them heathens, man, they're they're going to be considered heathens, man." What? It says that are around about us, for since we have departed from them, we have had much sorrow. Hey, so, so, go read that again, man. It says, it says, let us go and make a covenant with the heathen that are around about us, for since we have, suck it, for since we departed from them, we have much sorrow. So this device pleased them well. Then certain of the people were so forward herein that they went to the king. Who gave them license to do after the ordinance of the heathen? Who gave them license, which is the king, which was uh, the at the time I, I forget who it was. Who Alexander. Was, Alexander. I think he had already been uh, dead, you know. But uh, no. But the point is, oh, man, yeah, yeah. the Israelite that. foreigners, uh, uh, them Jews right there, tells you, man, they 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 are let go of the law, statutes, and commandments. So how about Shimei and Shai? Because you know, they're saying, oh, uh, since we depart from them, we have seen much sorrow, man, because they 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 have no faith. So the, they, they consider themselves to uh, to be uh, 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 Greeks, man. Where do you think get the Spartans from? You know, mm -hmm. history tells you that the Spart the Spartans uh, uh, go goes they go back to uh, uh, Jew Jew uh, the Jews, man, which is Israel. You know, the Lacedaemonians. You know, history history tells you that, man. You know, the scholars have done the you know the research. You know, but the point is, man, uh, Israel had uh, decided to go back and. Um, you know, in the ways of the heathen, man, and that's how the Lord jacked us up, man. You know, I believe uh, go to verse forty-three. I think it tells you they, they became uncircumcised. Uh, let me see. Uh, oh no, no, that's right here. Oh yeah, oh cool. Yeah. So, uh, so it says, verse fourteen. Whereupon they built a place of exercise in Jerusalem. That's them gym gymnasium. Gym goes back to uh, uh, it means naked. If you if you get in the Greek. What? It says, according to the custom of the heathens, and made themselves uncircumcised, and forsook the holy covenant, and joined themselves to the heathen, and were served to do mischief. And there's hey, they joined, they, they they forsook the holy covenant, you know, which is uh abiding uh, uh, on these law, statutes, and commandments, you know, with that they promised that they gave word to they gave their word to Moses, uh, to Yahweh through Moses, and they forsook the holy covenant, man. So what happened? They they became uh Gentiles, man. And then this is what it is long. I think this was like a thousand years before Yahweh Shai was in the scene, something like that. Man, I can't remember the exact numbers, but Yahweh after that, that was, that was a long time before Yahweh Shai came to the scene. So he Yahweh Shai came and said, said to set uh, 
no, uh, to die for his people, for his sins, man, for their sins, a lot, man. You know, so he, like, it's so simple to understand that these Jews, these, I mean, these Gentiles that were carried away, carried away by these dumb idols, like who just uh, uh, read in uh, the, the Count of Maccabees, they were known as, uh, they were the Israelite foreigners that converted to, uh, or I should say, to they lived them, them Gentile lifestyle, man. So that's why Paul had, had, he was trying to settle Paul for, for him to bring back them to, to marriage, man. You know? You know, you, you, uh, you go to the account of the the parable of the two sons. You know, the one had stood with, with his father, man, and the other ones had uh, spent his goods, with his money, his wealth, with uh, riots, his living, and forsook his father. That spiritual between uh, the, you know, uh, um, the Most High and his son and them Gentiles that were, you know, they forsook the Most High and decided to, they forsook the Holy Covenant like we read, and they started uh, following out these heathen customs, man. You know, but what did the most? But the most high is giving them. Uh, that he's rejoicing now, like you read in the, in the account of the parable of the two sons. He he they they rejoicing now, cause they're coming back, man. You know, and then the scripture says in Ezekiel, the Lord rejoiced not when he uh, when he killeth uh, a, a, um, a, a sinner or something like that. I mean, you know, but the Lord the Lord loves it when you know you come back to the heavenly Father, man. You know, when what she said to him. But um, times when it says the, the angels rejoice. Oh yeah, that that one too. Yeah, yeah. The angels rejoice. That's the thing. The songs. I, I'm not sure. But um, where are we at? Uh, we just read Maccabees. We read Maccabees. All right. Um, you got something, brother? No, I was just saying. Oh, okay. Man, but um, mm. my fact, I want to get some. I want. I want to go into Galatians, but no. See the spirit winding down, so um, you know, if we miss any anything, we we'll probably do another part two. The spirit allows us, but um, you know, hope y'all brothers were edified, you know, and um, you know, uh, man, I lost my train of thought when I go into some, but you know, that's spirit though. So you know, we just ended off like that. You know, we're gonna give all praise to Yahweh, Hashem, Yahweh Shai. Double honors to the apostles of Great Millstone, and citations to Yahweh, pushing His word in truth and with sincerity and with charity. Until the next time, I say, shalom. shalom.